Good day, my fellow Naga worshippers. I am Emily, and today we're embarking on a regal adventure as we delve into the enthralling world of Fire Emblem. Together, we shall explore its origins, evolution, and impact on the gaming world and beyond in intricate detail, providing you with a wealth of knowledge on the subject. And as we conclude each chapter of our journey, We'll recap the key points and give you a sneak peek into the next exciting topic. Our journey began in 1990, as a small studio called Intelligent Systems teamed up with Nintendo to create a game that would redefine the strategy RPG genre. Enter Fire Emblem, Shadow Dragon and the Blade of Light, the first in a series that would span over three decades and inspire countless other games and even manga series. This original title introduced the turn-based, grid-based combat system and the iconic protagonist, Moth, who would become a franchise staple. Our next stop is 1992, with the release of Fire Emblem Gaiden, a game that introduced explorable towns and branch promotions, adding depth to the series. In addition, Gaiden's unique gameplay mechanics, such as the ability to rewind time in battles, laid the groundwork for future titles, making it a standout entry in the series. Moving on to 1994, we have Fire Emblem, Mystery of the Emblem, a game that not only continued Marth's story, but also introduced the first incarnation of the series' iconic weapon triangle system. This system added a layer of strategic depth to the combat as players had to consider the strengths and weaknesses of each weapon type when planning their moves. In 1996, Fire Emblem, Genealogy of the Holy War, brought forth a new narrative by introducing the generation system, allowing players to experience a story spanning multiple generations of characters. Genealogy of the Holy War also introduced the concept of large maps divided into numerous battles, adding a new level of strategic planning to the gameplay. Our next destination is 1999, with Fire Emblem, Thrasia 776. This title refined the fatigue and capture mechanics first introduced in Gaiden, challenging players to manage their resources and make strategic decisions throughout the game. Thrasia 776 is also notable for its challenging difficulty, earning a reputation as one of the most complex entries in the series. Fast forward to 2002, and we arrive at Fire Emblem, The Binding Blade. This game marked the series' first entry on the Game Boy Advance and introduced the popular character, Roy. The Binding Blade continued to refine the series' gameplay mechanics, paving the way for Fire Emblem The Blazing Blade 2003. In 2003, Fire Emblem The Blazing Blade, also known as Fire Emblem in the West, marked the series' international debut. This game brought a new cast of characters, including the beloved trio of Lin, Aliwood, and Hector, and served as a prequel to The Binding Blade. In addition, The Blazing Blade introduced the concept of support conversations, which allowed players to deepen the bonds between characters, affecting their performance in battles and even unlocking memorable storylines. Our journey continues in 2004 with Fire Emblem The Sacred Stones, which built upon its predecessor's gameplay mechanics while introducing new features such as branching class promotions and a traversable world map. The Sacred Stones also featured a memorable cast of characters and a compelling storyline, making it a fan-favorite entry in the series. In 2005, the series leapt to the Nintendo GameCube with Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. This game introduced the world to Ike, another iconic protagonist, and featured 3D graphics and full motion cutscenes elevating the series' presentation to new heights. Path of Radiance also introduced the Lagos races, shape-shifting characters that added new strategic possibilities to the game. 
Two years later, Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn arrived on the Nintendo Wii as a sequel to The Path of Radiance. This title featured multiple interconnected storylines, an advanced combat system, and a sprawling epic narrative. Radiant Dawn's challenging difficulty and complex mechanics made it a standout entry in the series. In 2008, Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon, a remake of the original 1990 game, was released for the Nintendo DS. This remake brought updated graphics, a more streamlined user interface, and new features such as reclassing characters, providing a fresh experience for newcomers and longtime fans. Continuing the trend of remakes, Fire Emblem New Mystery of the Emblem arrived on the Nintendo DS in 2010, featuring an updated version of Mystery of the Emblem story, improved the graphics, and the introduction of the customizable My Unit character, allowing players to insert themselves into the world of Fire Emblem. Arguably the series' most popular entry, Fire Emblem Awakening, was released for the Nintendo 3DS in 2012. This game brought back the generation system, introduced new gameplay mechanics such as the pair-up system, and featured a captivating story with a memorable cast of characters. The successful Awakening revitalized the series, ensuring its continued development and paving the way for future titles. In 2015, Fire Emblem Fates arrived on the Nintendo 3DS, offering players a unique experience with three interconnected storylines, Birthright, Conquest, and Revelation. Fates expanded upon the gameplay mechanics, introduced in Awakening, offering players new strategic options and even deeper character customization. In 2017, Fire Emblem Echoes Shadows of Valentia, a remake of the Fire Emblem Gaiden, was released for the Nintendo 3DS. This game retained the unique mechanics of its original counterpart, while updating the presentation and adding new features, such as full voice acting and explorable dungeons, providing a fresh take on a classic title for both new and returning fans. Fire Emblem Three Houses, released for the Nintendo Switch in 2019. Three Houses brought a new level of depth and immersion to the series, introducing a fully explorable monastery, a deep and engaging story spanning multiple routes, and a new battalion system that added even more strategic options to combat. The game also featured memorable characters and a rich web of relationships, making it a critically acclaimed and fan-favorite entry in the series. Our journey concludes with Fire Emblem Engage, the most recent installment in our timeline. This game introduced magical rings that are imbued with copies of past Fire Emblem characters, allowing not only for the new characters to become empowered with their abilities, but to also build a strong connection and chemistry with the previous characters. And so, my dear comrades, our chronological journey through the world of Fire Emblem ends. We have seen the series evolve from humble beginnings to a beloved gaming franchise with a lasting impact on the gaming world. But, as we bid adieu to our regal adventure, we mustn't forget the captivating characters, intricate storylines, and engaging gameplay that has made Fire Emblem a force to be reckoned with. But fear not, for our journey is far from over, as we prepare to delve even deeper into the captivating world of Fire Emblem, join me in our next thrilling chapter as we explore the complex web of relationships, friendships, rivalries and romances that make this franchise so rich and alluring. Until then, I bid you a fond farewell, and may Naga's blessings always be with you. Ciao!